more electrifying fighter than Danny Little Red Lopez getting ready to put his title on the line today in the exciting style that Lopez and the fans have come to expect. Like last June on CBS against Mike Ayala, who dominated most of the fight, only to see Lopez rally and stage one of his patented comebacks and win in dramatic fashion in what was unquestionably one of the thrilling fights of the year. Now Lopez defends his crown against the top-ranked WBC challenger, Salvador Sanchez of Mexico, who is six years younger, has lost only once, and has never been knocked to the canvas. And it was on that same June day in San Antonio when Sanchez, who just turned 21 last week, defeated tough Bel Clemente in an impressive elimination bout triumph to earn his big chance today. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Dick Stockton, and welcome once again to the CBS Sports Spectacular. We are at the Memorial Coliseum in Phoenix, Arizona, for the scheduled 15-round WBC version of the World Featherweight Championship between Danny Little Red Lopez. 42 wins, 3 losses, and 39 knockouts, according to Ring Magazine, making his seventh title defense against 21-year-old but cunning and cool Salvador Sanchez of Mexico. 30 wins, 1 loss, and 1 draw, and 24 knockouts according to ring magazine so knockdowns could be the order of the day this afternoon here in phoenix that's just the start of a big month of fights on the cbs sports spectacular because in two weeks we have the people's choice middleweight marvin hagler competing in a big middleweight classic a confrontation of boxer versus puncher against lucy Hamani, Lucy Hamani currently ranked number five. In three weeks, we have a lightweight elimination bout between Howard Davis Jr., the undefeated Olympian, and Villamar Fernandez with the winner getting a shot at Jim Watts' version of the lightweight crown. Also, we'll have a rematch of that grueling light heavyweight battle between former champion Mike Rossman and Ramon Ranquello coming up. And if time permits this afternoon, we will show you the top moments of their first battle. But today, it is Lopez against Sanchez. Tim Ryan and Angelo Dundee will have the commentary of the action. Can Lopez continue to come back off the canvas and win consistently? And can Sanchez avoid going toe-to-toe -to -toe with him today? Also on our program today, we present the first part of our fourth annual Hollywood stunt competition with 10 of the top men and women stunt people from Hollywood, California. They are indeed a different breed. Big day today on the CBS Sports Spectacular. The CBS Sports Spectacular. Today's show is sponsored by Oldsmobile 1980 Cutlass. We've had a Cutlass built for you. Schlitz. Beer makes it good. Schlitz makes it great. And by St. Regis, a world leader in paper, patching, lumber, and construction products. He was born on an Indian reservation in Utah. His parents split up when he was five years old. He grew up in 14 different foster homes as one of seven brothers and sisters. He was poverty-stricken as a youth, so Danny Little Red Lopez reverted to stealing. He became a thief. This was not the way to live, and it was a rags-to-riches story when Danny Little Red Lopez decided to become a champion, and a champion indeed. And his brother, Ernie, lost a welterweight championship bout, and he almost decided to give up boxing then. But he did not do it and he became a champion indeed. So he has been a most exciting fighter indeed, coming off the canvas. He is flamboyant, he is electrifying. Does he feel he has received this due credit? I think I've had my fair share of publicity. Uh, I think I'm electrifying in there is, like you say, I, I fight hard and I, I try my best in there to give the people a good show. And I'm always trying for the knockout in there against my opponents and I don't know, you know, I'm. I th I'm proud of uh, people like Sugar Ray Leonard, Muhammad Ali, and they're doing great in, in a profession that's hard to make it in, and so I'm just proud of them and kind of proud of myself to be there, you know. And well, you should be. Uh, how do you feel about your philosophy? What's behind your feeling of going in toe-to-toe, -to -toe, fighting and taking whatever comes your way? Well, my, you know, my philosophy is to get in there and, and uh, cut the ring off from my opponents and and throw the bomb and see if I can knock the guy out. I figure uh, he'll have a hard time finding a place to hide if I can get in there and land my shots, keep the pressure on. 
Danny, of course, uh, you know, your history as a great fighter has been one who's been knocked to the canvas, has been hit, and has come back. And this has happened repeatedly. And I've got to ask you, does it take its toll? How long can you go on with this kind of a style against tough opponents, knowing that you've had to come back time and time again? Well, no, I, like I say, I get in there and I'm trying to fill the guy out in the early rounds, and, and he comes out to kill the first round, seems like, and naturally he's going to tag me once or twice. Uh, when I'm in there throwing my blows, trying to hit him with, with what I got, and uh, I don't, you know, I don't think it has any effect on me because I usually catch up to him and uh, get that knockdown back or the knockout, and sometimes it comes early and uh, save uh, nine or ten rounds once in a while. And that's the strategy against Sanchez. Cut off the ring. Sooner or later, he said, I'll get to him. Well, in the past, Danny Lopez has dedicated his fights to someone, and today is no exception. He is de dedicating this championship fight to the 50 hostages in Iran, and one in particular, Marine Sergeant Jimmy Lopez. No relation, and in fact, Lopez's parents are going to be here this afternoon. Compliments of Danny Lopez, and they will be sitting at ringside. Now, for Indian Dunes, California, Hollywood stunt, and Ken Squire. People in Hollywood. You're going to see nine of the very best stunt people there are doing their incredible work in competition, plus some fans. Phoenix, Arizona, moments away from the scheduled 15 round WBC featherweight championship fight between colorful Danny Little Red Lopez and Mexican Salvador Sanchez. Lopez, as ever, the gladiator for a rundown on the fight. Here is Tim Ryan and Angelo Dundee. All right, Dick. Well, Angelo, I think for the first time since Danny Lopez started to defend his title eight times ago, he's looking his opponent in the eye. Sanchez nearly as tall. Well, yeah, this is going to be a big factor in the fight because he'll be fighting these small fellas and banging down on him. He'll be punching up at Sanchez. I make it a very difficult fight. Sanchez punch, punches with both hands. He's a very difficult opponent for Danny Red Lopez. Well, Mike Ayala was a very difficult opponent for him here on CBS last June, much shorter than Sanchez, and he put a lot of punishment out of Lopez. Has it affected him? Well, those kind of fights are always tough fights because they go that long, and he's taking those shots all night long. The unbelievable thing about Red Lopez, he comes in the stretch. He's the kind of guy to come in there and really hurt you in the stretch because he's a very strong young man. Well, that's what he did in this fight, coming back to knock out Ayala in the 15th round. And, of course, Salvador Sanchez was on that same card in San Antonio at a very impressive victory against Bel Clemente. Well, what I liked about that fight was he stood the route with the guy, took shots from the guy, dominated early, it got hurt in the middle of the rounds, and then he came back and won it. He finished very strongly, winning a 12-round decision, and that got him this title opportunity. We'll find out if this fight will be as tough for Danny Lopez as Mike Ayala's was very shortly. Let's go back to Dick. All right, so the stage is set for what we expect to be a big fight with perhaps many knockdowns, and we'll be back with this fight from Phoenix after this word from your local station. This is CBS. Okay. We are at ringside in Phoenix, Arizona, the Arizona Veterans Memorial Coliseum, and the tale of the tape shows the experience to Lopez, 27 years of age, and Danny Lopez, 42 wins, three losses, 39 knockouts. Salvador Sanchez, 30 wins, one loss, and one draw, according to Ring Magazine, 23 knockouts. He stands just an inch shorter than Danny Lopez, and as we commented earlier, uh, that will be something different for Lopez, who has been usually the clearly taller man in his previous fights. He is, was born in 1952 in Fort Duchesne, Utah, as a Mexican father and an Irish Ute Indian mother. He lives now in the San Gabriel Valley in California. His wife, Bonnie, is here at ringside, and he has three boys of his own. Salvador Sanchez turned 21 just a week ago from the small town of Santiago Fianduestrego in Mexico, now lives in Mexico City. And he is ranked number one. Certainly his most impressive okay. fight, Angelo, was against Bel Clemente back uh, last June in San Antonio. The referee is Valdemar Schmidt from San Juan, Puerto Rico. The scoring will be done by three judges at ringside. Lou Filippo from Downing, California, Chuck Hassett from Anaheim, California, and Jorge Velasco from Guadalajara, Mexico. Scoring here in Arizona is on the 10-point must system. There is a mandatory eight count in effect. There is no three knockdown rule. And the count will continue after the bell. 
except in the final 15th round. The fighters will be wearing eight ounce Reyes gloves. This is a 16 foot ring and Angelo, will the ring be an advantage for the punching Danny Lopez? Well, I'd have to say so because he can come across this ring in a couple of strides and he looks like he's ready to go. They've both been warming up very hard in the dressing room. It's gonna be a dangerous first round. Danny Lopez will be coming from the corner on the left. And we're underway with first round action scheduled for 15, the WBC Featherweight Championship. And for Danny Lopez, his ninth title defense since winning it back in November of 76. First round's been always a dangerous round for Danny Lopez, believe it or not. But he gets nailed with real tough shots. And this fella is a puncher. It's going to be a dangerous first round for Danny Lopez. Four times he has been knocked down early in the fight, first or second round, and each time he's gotten up to win. Good right hand and a scoring combination from Sanchez and a left hook land. Sanchez with remarkable poise for a 21-year-old. He really looks like a very mature young man. That he is, and I don't like the way Danny Lopez just stood there and took the shots. I think he's trying to outsight the kid, but he's getting hit with really tough, tough shots. Well, Mike Ayala landed several to Danny Lopez over 15 rounds, and he survived it. But he was no puncher. This kid is a puncher, but he's got the height and the leverage to hurt Danny Lopez. Five foot seven, Salvador Sanchez. Five foot eight, Danny Lopez. 126 pounds. The featherweight limit. Very dangerous for Red Lopez right now, Tim. I don't like the way he's reacting. He's getting hit with punches. He's coming in slowly. If this kid goes out for a bear, he's liable to get lucky and win this title right in the first round. certainly been the aggressor and has scored heavily. Lopez showing no signs of damage. We're under a minute to go in the first round. Good start for the challenger, Sanchez. Sanchez is fighting so far. A very smart fight, not going crazy, landing his shots, and not gambling where he's going to get hit himself. Short, sharp right from Sanchez scoring to the cheek of Lopez, the champion. Less than 30 seconds to go. Very composed, very contained young man. Good on his feet, as you can see. Both punches and combinations. Final seconds of this first round. You come to fly. All right, this is round two from the Veterans Memorial Coliseum in Phoenix. Kim Ryan, Angelo Dundee, and Dick Stockton here to bring in this featherweight championship. A good first round for Salvador Sanchez, the challenger. Last punch of the round, Tim. Danny Lopez really got hurt, lost his equilibrium, walking back to the corner. Really got hurt with the right hand. Lopez in the black trunks. The top of your screen, Sanchez, a 21-year-old challenger from Mexico City, now on the left in white. Lopez is always exciting. He's what you call Mr. Excitement because he comes in there, it's either you or him. 39 knockouts in his 42 victories. Good right hand from Sanchez again, Lang. Lopez has yet to uh, really score a tough punch. More of this kind of boxing action on CBS. Three more fights this month of February. We'll be in Portland, Maine for Marvin Hagler. We'll see Pamani on February 16th. Sanchez is moving around real well, away from the right hand, which is smart. And he's hurting Lopez. Good left hook by Sanchez landed just before that last exchange. Sees his target well. Sanchez 
Sanchez, also an excellent body puncher with that left hook to the body. Tim. But what I like about him, he's moving away from Lopez's right hand. He's in superb physical condition. He has his own personal position to attend all his workouts. Takes his pulse rate and heart rate at the end of each round of sparring. Very unusual training regimen. Good sharp left again. Less than a minute remaining round two. The mistake Sanchez can't afford to make is trade punches with Lopez. Because that's when he can hurt you. Benny Giorgino has Jackie McCoy in his corner as well. Good uppercut from Lopez, his first real good punch of the fight. We're in round two. Now a combination from Lopez, sends Sanchez back to the ropes. Lopez coming on here near the end of round two We're in the final second with Lopez landing the combination. The crowd coming to its feet. RCA wants you to see the race. the Ray sitting next to us, by the way. Good. The bell for round three. Danny Lopez, the champion, on the left of your screen. Salvador Sanchez on the right has started awfully well. Lopez finally coming on near the end of round two. See, at the end of that last round, Sanchez made his first mistake. He started gambling with Indian Red Lopez. He should play cat and mouse games and don't gamble with Lopez. It's the worst thing you can do. Referee Valdemar Schmidt asking the Sanchez corner to clean up the water. They used quite a bit between rounds, and now they're reaching in to soak some of it up. It's going to be dangerous. I'm to slip on that. 16-foot ring. Sanchez would like to use all of it. He moves awfully well. Sanchez is starting to box more. He must do that to, to win this fight because you're not going to win a title fight fighting with the Danny Red Lopez because that's his game. We talked about Sanchez's excellent physical condition. Of course, Lopez, one of the great training fighters, walks around and works real hard in training. He landed a right hand to the ear of Sanchez. Sanchez snuck in a right hand lead, first we've seen. Three rounds from Sanchez. Combination by Lopez score. Right hand from Lopez. Sanchez can't let his Mexican hang out. He's got to play a cat and mouse game. Boxes don't trade with Lopez, or he's going to get knocked out. Well, we've seen the usual slow start by Lopez. Sanchez dominating the first two rounds. But Lopez did not go down. Lopez just sustained a cut over his right eye. It doesn't look bad, but it just opened up. Right hand landed. The blood from the nose of Sanchez. Minute remaining in round number three. Tim Ryan, Angelo Dundee, Dick Stockton, and Phoenix. Live on the CBS Sports Spectacular. Three more fights later this month. February 16th, Hagler Hamadi middleweights. Howard Davis, Vilamar Fernandez, big lightweight bout on February 23rd. And then the next day, Mike Rossman and Ramon Ranquillo, light heavyweights. Because Sanchez must have been listening because he's starting to move. That's the way you got to fight Lopez. You can't stay there with him. But Lopez is a dynamite puncher. Short right from Lopez. Landing to the chin. <laughs> Sanchez did not have a whole lot on it. Final seconds of this third round. Give it a kid. Round four, Danny Lopez getting attention for a slight cut over his right eyebrow. Yeah, Jackie McCoy did a good job of stopping the cut. It's right on top of the eyebrow. It's not in a serious place. It's on the top of the right eye. Right hand lead from Lopez. Sanchez scores with the right hand. 
Sanchez with 23 knockouts and 30 victories. Lopez, 39 KOs and 42 wins. That swelling under the left eye of Lopez is more dangerous than the cut, actually, Tim, because it's starting to swell, and it's on the bottom, it's starting to close the eye. Lopez going to the body. Again. Good right hand from Sanchez. Backed up Lopez, left hook. Right hand again. Red Lopez is hurt for the first time. First time I see him this hurt. Lopez takes another combination from Sanchez. Sanchez keeps him on the rope. Looks like a cut on the nose now of Danny Lopez, the champion. Unless that blood came down from above. We'll watch it. That's the worst physical condition I've seen Lopez in in a long time. This kid is a real good puncher, Tim, and he really hurt Lopez that last extreme. Still the calm, cool, collected Sanchez showing that remarkable poise. 21 years of age against the veteran champion who's 27. A minute remaining, round four. <laughs> Blood coming from the nose of Lopez now. That right uppercut did that, Tim. And the cheekbone swelling some more also. Real tough, tough exchange. Sanchez appears unmarked. Another right hand from Sanchez, throwing them well, very straight. Little blood from the nose of Sanchez. Lopez leading from that cut above the eyebrow, also from the nose. Final seconds of the fourth round, a grueling first four rounds with the champion taking most of the punishment. How do you spell it on CBS Sports? Here's some action from that fourth round. Lopez and Sanchez and... Salvador Sanchez really going to work on the champion. You notice how they both look the same height, Tim? That right uppercut was a devastating punch that kid threw right here. All right, we're back live now. Round five. Tim Ryan and Angelo Dundee at ringside. The featherweight championship of the world. Danny Lopez, his ninth title defense. Last defended it in September with a third round knockout of Jose Cabo. But he's in against a much stronger opponent. Oh, he's in real bad trouble, Tim. Uh, he's got to come up with the best survival test of all time because this kid is hurting with every punch now. Another combination landing by Sanchez. And this kid is fighting a very smart, calculated fight. He's going in and out and moving away from Lopez. That's the way he's got to fight him. Cat and mouse game to win. There is a cut on the nose of... Danny Lopez, one over the right eyebrow, and he is also bleeding from the nose. Left hook from Sanchez land. The referee is Valdemar Schmidt. Scoring is done by three judges. The referee is not a participant in the score. The only way Sanchez is going to lose this fight, Tim, if he fights him and he, tra he trades punches with the guy. If he keeps giving Lopez movement, in and out, he can't lose the title. He'll be a new champion. Well, watching him work out this week, that's what he seemed to be working on. Lots of movement for Sanchez. And he's good with his feet. We saw that against El Clemente. Lopez has changed his attack. He's going downstairs, then on top. Very smart move he did right then with the right hand to the body. Scheduled for 15, live on the CBS Sports Spectacular. Left eye's cut, Tim. Above the left eye, this cut right over. Angelo already pointed out the swelling under the left eye, so now Lopez.
Lopez with a severe problem around his left eye. We're under a minute to go in round five. The champion has been able to land very few solid punches for Sanchez. Even that flurry did not do any real damage as Sanchez got back into the corner for the first time. It came out unmarked. 30 seconds remaining in the fifth round. Before you buy a new car, please know this. This is round six of this featherweight championship fight. Co-promotion here of five-star promotions out of Los Angeles in Madison Square Garden. And they're putting on quite a show so far. Sanchez and Lopez. Sugar Ray Leonard is in attendance, sitting right next to us here at ringside. Waterweight champ, former waterweight champion Tony DeMarco lives here in Phoenix. Also in attendance, along with the governor of the state, Bruce Babbitt. Salvatore. Right hand from Sanchez. Sanchez that rocked fight, him. Fighting a great fight. Smart fight. He just can't, you know, get too cocky because that's a, 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 a mark of a kid, a young 21-year-old kid. He's having everything his own way. He's winning the fight, but he's got to fight a cat and mouse game. He's got to move. He's not moving enough right now. He's been well schooled, Tim. He's sure has. His hands up around his head, looking, looking to block the right hand with the left hand high. He's fighting a perfect fight so far. The manager is Cristobal Rosas, trained by Enrique Huerta and Rosas. And he has been well trained. I like the way he really sees his target. He just keeps his eye, he sees every punch he throws, he knows where it's going. Well, he's got to make sure because one good shot from Red Lopez, you know, and the ball game might be over, Tim. That is always the possibility with the great champion, Lopez. Sanchez rocked Lopez back once more with a left hand. Lopez has got to take the heart out of everybody because the shots he's getting hit and not going down could discourage anyone. Mike Gallala gave him such a great fight. Went the distance into the 15th round, and finally Lopez able to finish him off as the gallon Ayala suffered a broken nose earlier in that fight. But to guarantee you, Salvador Sanchez knocked out many a man with the shots he's hitting Lopez with, and Lopez is not going down. We're under a minute to go in round six. from that cut over the right eye of Lopez screaming down his face. Good combination from Lopez. Lopez's best punch of the fight, a left hand that rocked the head back of Salvador Sanchez. Now the referee wants to have Lopez cut examined by the ringside doctor, that is Dr. Lake, coming in. Time counting down here in the sixth round. What is that about? Dr. Lake will examine the cut over the left eye of Danny Lopez. Penny, Penny Giorgino tried to make a move and say, what well, was it, a butt? Which is a smart move for a manager to make. It was a punch without a butt, all right? has given Lopez the okay to continue. The round timer has counted down, so we're depending on the official timekeeper that we're about 10 seconds left in the round as we recall it from looking up. And Sanchez trying to finish off the champion. Now the referee is... Whatever I'm into, I like... Round 
six came to a conclusion after the doctor examined Danny Lopez and allowed him to continue. Let's look at some of that last flurry of the sixth round. As the clock here showed zeros, but the official timekeeper had the count after the clock had continued to run when the referee stopped it for the examination of Lopez's left eye. And we're now ready for round number seven. Salvador Sanchez has done a job on Danny Lopez. It'll be if the champion can come back and win this. Well, it's remarkable. But I'll tell you, I don't like the way Sanchez got hit near the end of the round, Timmy. He got hurt with two punches. So he can't fight with Lopez if he's going to get knocked out. Got to be very careful. Danny Lopez has never finished until he's finished. He's lost only three times. He's gotten up off the canvas four times. Sanchez must know that. Lopez on the attack, somewhat desperately here in round seven. And Sanchez willing to trade punches with him now. That might not be the right thing to do, Andy. Oh, that's a mistake. He definitely got to keep the game plan up. Box, move, don't get hit. Play cat and mouse. Your no card, she's got five of the first six rounds. The cut over the right eye has really gotten bad, Timmy. It's open wide open. I'd like Jackie. to remind our stations, Andy, we're going to a station break at the end of this seventh round. Salvatore Sanchez is cut over the left eye. Blood is streaming from a cut in the corner of Sanchez's left eye, and still he's trading punches with Lopez, and he snapped him back to the straight left. Tremendous action in this featherweight championship fight, almost guaranteed by Danny Lopez. Salvador Sanchez showing what a great challenger he is. He can smell the title. One thing great about Lopez, he always fights number one. He's been a great champion. Sanchez is the number one rated WBC contender from Mexico City. Right hand from Sanchez, got Lopez coming in on the attack. Minute to go in round seven. Timmy's hit them with a great right hand counter. He's catching the right hand with the glove and counter with his own right hand. Lopez has cuts over both eyes now. And again, Baltimore Schmidt has called for the ring physician. Dr. Leck to examine him. Now this time they have stopped the clock. 47 seconds remaining is on the scoreboard clock here. 47 seconds remaining in round seven. Sanchez getting a breather in his corner. Dr. Lake has allowed the champion to continue once more. And the time starts to tick. 40 seconds remaining in the seventh round. A tremendous featherweight championship fight. Less than 30 seconds remaining in a combination from Sanchez for Lake. We'd like to alert our stations that we will hold on that station break. We're going to stay here following round seven. Lopez was hurt for the first time badly on last exchange. He's hurt again. Good right hand from Sanchez. Final seconds of the seventh round. Stay with the stations along the line. Lopez bleeding from cuts over both eyes and badly swollen. There's the end of round seven. Sanchez again calmly to his corner. And let's look at Danny Lopez in his corner as Benny Giorgino, Jackie McCoy will work feverishly over him. He's in trouble, obviously. Oh, he's in all kinds of trouble. Uh, his cuts are varied. They're on either side of his face. Jackie McCoy's really got a tough job to take care of that cut. The last part of round number seven we're going to show you again here. And Salvador Sanchez has just been landing those kind of punches, effectively, particularly with the uh, right hand. But he throws that left almost as well. He really got hurt that last shot. I was worried about that, you know what I mean? Because I never seen him take an effective punch like that and wobble like that. He really did wobble. You can see the swelling under his left eye. Cuts over both eyes. Twice he has been examined in round six and in round seven by the ring position. The cut's not severe enough to prevent him from continuing. And we're ready for round number eight. Now, barring anything unusual, we'll go to our station break at the end of round eight. Alerting our stations along the line on the CBS Television Network, live on the CBS Sports Spectacular today. 
a tremendously exciting featherweight championship fight. The champion on the right in black. The challenger, Sanchez, on the left in white. 21 years of age. What a job he's doing. The ever-dangerous Danny Lopez could turn this fight around with one punch. But he's well behind. The difference is this kid is fighting the fight. He's tall, he's moving away. He's not giving him a chance to land the big bomb. And he's staying off the ropes. He's fighting a good, calculated, smart fight. We talked about the height being almost equal. First time Danny's faced anybody that tall as a champion. Uh, how much of an effect does it have? Big effect. He's not reaching with the right hand. He's a tall guy, and the right hand's going right over the top. How much effect do you think that grueling 15-rounder against Mike Ayala is had on Lopez? We said before it didn't do him no good. Those kind of fights are long-distance fights where you're taking your licking. They don't do nobody no good. Sanchez has never been 15 rounds. He's been 12 rounds twice. Once for the Mexican championship, his only loss against Becerra, and then against Bel Clemente, the elimination fight that got him here. He won that one. Round number eight. Grueling fight for the champion, Danny Lopez. Sanchez is keeping his cool real good, Tim. He's moving around. He's, he's doing the right thing. He's got to keep fighting that kind of fight. We've got Sugar Ray Leonard here at ringside. And if we can open our other microphone, we'll just get a comment from the champion here on this fight. Sugar Ray, uh, this is something. I'm very surprised with Sanchez. He's taking his time. He's fighting like a real professional, a veteran. He's, he hurt uh, Lopez with a lot of combinations, but he's really taking his time and pacing himself very well. You have to be impressed with a champion uh, still solid in there after all the cuts and all the beating he's taken. Well, Dan will stand up for one to 15 if you have to. All right, Sugar Ray, thanks very much. Featherweight champion Sugar Ray sitting next to the man who manages him here, Angela Dundee, our commentator. Under 30 seconds to go in round eight. We'll be going to a station break at the end of this round. Lopez, swollen under that left eye. It's starting to close on him, Angie. Yes, it is. That's, that's, I was more concerned about the left eye than the right eye, actually. Final seconds. We'll return to Phoenix after this word from our local stations. This is CBS. Nights on TV2. We're in round number nine, scheduled for 15, the WBC Featherweight Championship. The champion, Danny Lopez, dedicated this fight to one of the American hostages in Iran, Sergeant Lopez from nearby Globe, Arizona, no relation. A young man he dedicated his Ayala fight to, Ruben Mendoza from San Antonio. The young cancer patient is here at ringside as a guest of Danny Lopez. The champion is not only a great fighter, he's a fine young person and a great humanitarian. The Lopez family is here also. The father of Marine Sergeant Lopez, the parents of Marine Sergeant Lopez, is Danny's guest for the fight. I'm sure they're hoping he can pull out the big one here. He's their favorite, obviously. The champion is really facing an uphill struggle against Salvador Sanchez. Well, yes, he is. And he's going to have to come out with everything he's got in there. And I don't think it's there. I think the well ran dry because he can't even take the offensive on this kid. But he's moving him around. The ninth round, there is some blood from the nose of Sanchez. Not at all serious. He had a slight cut in the corner of his left eye, but that doesn't seem to be bothering him at all. Look at him jab coming off the ropes. Danny Lopez's face is painted with blood. Lopez changes tactics. He's going downstairs. He's, he's got to do that. He's got to stop this kid from being so fleet on his feet. If he hurts him with a couple of body shots, he'll be able to reach him that much easier. Are you surprised he hasn't gone to the body more? Well, the kid, the kid strikes up the perfect fight, Sanchez. Sanchez is also hard to hit, hard to get a good lick in. But good movement. Minute remaining in round nine. Referee is Valdemar Schmidt. He will not participate in the scoring if this goes the distance. Three judges at ringside will do that on the 10-point bus system. 
Looks like it's going to get worse, Tim. Lopez just can't seem to get on track. This kid's got his number. The ninth title defense for 27-year-old champion Danny Little Red Lopez. This is the only way the kid can lose the fight, doing just what he just did. Trade with him. That could, he can lose the fight easily that way. Got more action like this on the Sports Spectacular. Three more fights coming up. February 16th, Marvin Hagler and Lucy Tamani. That's our next one. We'll be back with the 10th round here in a moment. A message. Round number 10, scheduled for 15. And the challenger, Salvador Sanchez, has had his way close to this fight. On our cards, we've given only two to Lopez. Sanchez scoring with a combination. Lopez apparently can still see out of that left dive. There's a lot of swelling underneath. This is going to be the, what do you say, the home stretch, Tim? This is going to see if this kid can go. He's been 12. He's been going, 12. Going with a tough pace like he's going with Lopez is a big difference, fighting 12 with some other guy. Well, we mentioned the unusual training regimen in which his own personal doctor checks his pulse and heart rate at the end of each round of sparring. Boy, they really monitor this young man neurologically as well. And uh, they say he is in absolutely perfect condition. Couldn't be better. He's ready to go 15. Right hand to the cheekbone of Lopez from Sanchez. Another one. Lopez just keeps coming at you. That to be frustrating, although Sanchez hasn't shown any signs of the frustration. Lopez keeps that left hand flashing to his head. He's got to keep doing that because he's getting hit with some right-hand shots now. Lopez just stalking, stalking, trying to put a couple together that will send the challenger to the canvas. Blood from the cut over the right eye of Lopez starting to scream again. I think Lopez the best round so far, Tim. He's starting to put some hurt on uh, Sanchez. Tim, it's funny. When they first made this match, they said Salvador who? But Mickey Davis is a smart matchmaker. The five-star promotes really come up with a great show. That is for sure. And he is ranked number one by the WBC. And he is showing why in this fight. Lopez can't wait on this kid because he's going to just take a bad licking all night long. He's got to go and try to gamble and go for broke. Under a minute to go in round 10. Combination scoring from Sanchez. Lopez started this round very well. Under 30 seconds, he takes a short, sharp, straight right. Lopez is starting to get hurt with those shots, Tim, now. He's starting to, you know, wobble. Last right hand he got hit, he was doing tricks with his knees that time. And that's a sign of getting hurt. Approaching the end of the 10th round, Danny Lopez, the featherweight champion. Salvador Sanchez, the challenger. From the people who brought you the workmate comes the incredible bench top. You can put it on a... Round 11. 15-round championship fight. Danny Lopez at the top of your screen. Circling to the right now. Salvador Sanchez from Mexico City. February 16th here on CBS, we'll have an outstanding middleweight bout. Marvin Hagler fought that controversial draw against the champion, Vito Anafermo. He'll be taking on a tough Frenchman, Lucy Pamani from Portland, Maine. February 23rd, Howard Davis and Vilmar Fernandez, lightweight elimination. February 24th, the next day, also from Atlantic City, light heavyweight Ramon Rancuello and Mike Rossman in a rematch. And right here, Dick Stockton, Angelo Dundee, Tim Ryan all at ringside for this great championship fight, Lopez and Sanchez. Lopez continues to amaze me how he can stay in there and take the punch that he's taking. Uh, he, he's a tremendously well-conditioned young man. Body strength is unquestionable. Uh, I just don't think he can take too, too many a licking like this and continue on. Well, he's in 
round number 11, and he just keeps coming straight ahead. But it has been Sanchez, except for the last couple of rounds. Lopez has started to turn it around a little bit, but he's not been able to hurt Sanchez. Some blood from the cut over the left eye of Lopez that he suffered early in the fight. As long as Sanchez keeps moving either side of Lopez, he's in no danger. The first time he goes straight back to him, he's going to get nailed with a right-hand shot. If he goes straight back, he's going to get hit. Right-hand lead landed from Sanchez. Well, he commented that he does have good movement, so uh, if he was following your advice, he'd be using it. Going left and going right. Well, that's what he's doing. And he can do it. He, he's, he's, he's giving him movement. Very poised young man from Mexico City. Went off to a ranch outside of that city in Mexico to train for this big opportunity. Right-hand lead from Sanchez, snap back ahead of Lopez. But 12 more minutes to go. Sanchez, for the first time, is starting to reach with his punches. That could be very dangerous for, for the Lopez. Sanchez with Lopez in his corner, in the Sanchez corner, trying to finish him here. Look at this youngster slump. Dangerous territory against Danny Lopez, but Sanchez fighting with a lot of confidence. Final seconds of the 11th round. Great fight, as usual, from Danny Lopez. Oldsman. Next week, you'll be seeing the great speed skaters, Eric and Beth Hyden, and all of the top Soviets as well, and our speed skating coverage from West Dallas, Wisconsin. Dick Stockton will be there on the Sports Spectacular. All right, we're in round number 12 of this featherweight championship fight. The challenger, Sanchez, on the right of your screen, the champion, Lopez, on the left and black. Sanchez will know he's got more than nine more minutes to go because Lopez is going to be trying everything he can do because he's a great champion and he feels his title slipping away on him. as far as Sanchez has gone. Lopez has been the distance before. This is a lot to ask of a 21-year-old youngster to be moving like he's doing, doing what he's doing. Now he's trying to lay a little bit, rest a little bit. He can't do that. Landed a good short right again. Lopez has just not been able to put any sustained attack on Sanchez. He hasn't even been able to, to land two consecutive punches that have hurt Sanchez or set him back. In. Hurt Lopez with a great left hook, too. He knew it, and he's on the attack. Lopez is covering up well over on the ropes. Blood again from the cut over the right eye of Lopez. That's the first time in a long time I see Lopez move away with a slugging match against the ropes. He usually makes the opponent get out of there. A lot of blood from that cut over the right eye. Referee Schmidt has twice stopped the fight momentarily to have those cuts examined back in round six and seven. I don't think the cut is of any substance, Tim, because it's sort of an area where it's not bothering his vision. It's those punches he's taken which is bothering the referee. We're under a minute to go in round 12. been a great fight Tim. Uh, that's a not, terrific fight. What you expect it with a Lopez. Yes, Whenever he goes to the bat. To me he's a, a promoter dream, a fight fan dream. He really is and that's not to take any credit away from Sanchez who is winning the fight in our card. He obviously has done as much as Danny to make this a great fight. 
but uh, Lopez just always guarantees a great show. Final seconds of the 12th round. Round 13 live on the CBS Sports Spectacular from Phoenix, Arizona, and the challenger comes out swinging. Sanchez come back with another right hand right on the chin. Another good job in the Lopez corner as he comes out with his cuts looking pretty good here. And Sanchez, of course, will be banging away at them throughout this round. Solid right hand from Sanchez. He's now teeing off on that right hand lead, Andy. That light, the left eye, you can't see the right hand coming, actually, Tim. Good point, because he just took another one and we yeah, had a good look at it. Can't see it coming. That eye nearly closed. Danny Lopez's left eye. He's got trouble looking from that eye. And this kid's smart enough to take advantage of it. He is hurt, isn't he? He is hurt. Hurt. He's hurt. Sanchez, the referee's going to stop it. The referee's going to stop it. That's it. There is a new featherweight world champion, WBC version Salvador Sanchez hey, yeah. from Mexico no, City. Yeah. As referee Valdemar Schmidt has stopped the fight in the 13th round after a hard right hand staggered Lopez followed up with a flurry by Sanchez, and that was hey, enough. Hello. Let's take a look at the last flurry again. See if we can pick out that one key punch. That one hurt him. The right hand did the whole job, Tim. It was that punch indeed, because it backed up Lopez. The referee, Smith, did a good job saying, hey, that's enough for this great champion. Salvador Sanchez, 21 years of age from Mexico City, is the new WBC featherweight champion. And will return here to Phoenix in just a moment. Detroit is justifiably proud of its reputation as a renaissance city and a meeting place of the world. In less than two decades... The new WBC featherweight champion of the world from Mexico, Salvador Sanchez, in a big upset win. The question is, how can a 21-year-old fight such a brilliant fight strategically? Combinations with the right uppercut, then moving away and slipping away from what Danny Lopez had. How can a young man tan joven puede pelear tan brillante usando combinaciones, rapidez y golpe? Bueno, yo creo que es a base de preparación, de inteligencia. Y sobre todo de la buena administración que mi licenciado y todo el equipo que me respalda. Number one, in good condition, the, the confidence that he had, the good training, and, and above all, his administration. All right, were you surprised that he did come back after the doctor looked at the cut the first time and he came back with a flurry? Si te sorprendió cuando el doctor lo dejó seguir la pelea después de las cortadas. Sí, sí, me sorprendió porque en cualquier otro lugar que no fuera aquí, yo pienso que en México lo hubieran parado de inmediato. He says that in any other place they would have stopped the fight. In the other place, with the cuts that he had, they would have stopped the fight. What was your strategy going in? Era tus planes entrar la pelea. Boxearlo así con rapidez, sin quedarse en las cuerdas y sobre todo con inteligencia. With a lot of intelligence, staying off the ropes and boxing. For 21 year old, that's tremendous. National hero of Mexico, isn't he? Right. Nacional, héroe nacional de México. Mande? Que eres un héroe nacional. En tu país. Sí, soy héroe nacional. Gracias, gracias. Mundial, yes, gracias. Quiero, quiero enviar un saludo. Salvador Sanchez is our champion here in Phoenix, Arizona, in a brilliant fight, and we'll be back with more from Memorial Coliseum in just a moment. I am here to remind you to do something. By the way, Salvador Sanchez was ahead on all three cards when the fight was stopped in the third.